Hello and welcome to this exercise on flow rate on volume. Uh, it is uh, a GCSE question and therefore suitable for IGCSE 10th grade uh, GED math. Now we've got our water pipe and it's got a cross section diameter of 1.64 centimeters. Now note here that in the actual question itself this diagram is not there. I've just put this in to help me um, to explain what I'm doing here. Right, and uh, this uh, the water flows at a rate of 15 centimeters per second, or rather travels at the rate of 15 centimeters, 15 centimeters per second. Now, note here that this says centimeters and not centimeters cubed. Okay, and it, what it can do is you can, if you can imagine a little particle there, and this particle travels for every second it travels 15 centimeters so that's the speed of travel for this particle there we're not looking for volume right now the pipe itself contains a volume of 1.6 liters so from there to there will give us a volume of 1.6 liters there now note here that the units for the diameter is centimeters and the unit for the travel rate is also in centimeters but that is the volume is, is, is in liters so we need to change the volume to an equivalent in centimeters if you can imagine this little cube here it's one it's got one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter so the volume is one times one times one which is one centimeter cubed and you can also imagine that this is 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters so the volume is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000 millimeters cubed. And that's what we've got there. And there are 1 million millimeters cubed in 1 liter. So this volume here is only a thousandth of a liter. So if we then multiply that by a thousand and that by a thousand, we have that 1,000 centimeters cubed is the same as 1 liter. 1 liter, that is. So a 1.6 liters then becomes a 1.6 times a thousand which is 1600 centimeters cubed there okay now we now want to find the length of this pipe here okay now the volume of a cylinder which the pipe is is pi r squared l or in this case to be pi times 0.82 squared times length and that's is equal to 1600 centimeters cubed so our length is then uh, 1600 divided by pi divided by 0.82 squared and that gives gives us a length of 757.4298 centimeters so because this little particle travels at the rate of 1.6 uh, sorry at the rate of 15 centimeters per second so if you take this little particle this time of uh 757.4298 divided by 15 and that gives us the time of 50.49532 seconds and to do decimal places as required here we end up with t being 50.50 seconds to 2 dp i hope all that made some sense thank you for watching and bye-bye now.